Nay, Oblivious Sakaris time! <laughs> From now on, I'm just gonna call them Neo because I hate saying the name because it sounds like I feel like I sound like a fucking tool when I say it. <laughs> so from now on, we're just gonna call it Neo. So today we have Neo, and for a whole week we had the poll to see which song we were going to choose. And you guys, I think this is the second time I've done a poll, and this is the second time this has happened. So I think there's a conspiracy theory about this that I have. It ended up being a tie. It ended up being five to five. <laughs> and the last time that I did a poll, it ended up being like the same. It was like one to one or two to two, and I had to pay. And there's the opeth one. Actually, I think I've done three polls. Sorry. The second poll was just shite because it was two to one because only three people voted. <laughs> uh, the poll that I had for opeth, I think it was opeth or something like that. It was like tied again, so I had to do two. But I'm not doing two this time, so I'm just going to pick one since it was five to five. And I'm going to pick Forget Not. So for all you Forget Not voters, you're going to be happy. For all your curator, I think that's how you say it, voters, you're not going to be happy because uh, I'm not going to pick it even though it was tied five to five. So don't get angry. We're just going to go through and do Forget Not, and hopefully you like both of them. And for the next one, I'm going to do another poll. This is going to become a poll channel, too. <laughs> so the next poll I'm going to do is Symphony X because I need to listen to them again. So all you Symphony X people and uh, the people that maybe just kind of like Symphony X and you want to hear maybe a song by Symphony X that you haven't heard before, like me, then vote in the poll. I'm going to pick five songs. Some of them people have kind of suggested suggestion suggested in the uh, comments and then I'll pick maybe one or two that I'm just gonna randomly pick or just kind of do a little research on and pick so that'll be in the next video which is an Ohio State reaction video to the last game we just had against Indiana so even though you won't watch it if you want to vote you're gonna have to click on it so I can get a view <laughs> and then you have to watch it just vote in the poll and then go <laughs> but hopefully it makes you stick around and watch it and uh, me talk about high state football. <laughs> so remember, and the, yeah, this way, the right corner, you, that right there, and the next video, which is going to be an Ohio State Indiana reaction video, click on the song that you want for Symphony X. And then after that, it's going to be back to Opeth. Um, uh, I think I'm done with Between the Buried Me because honestly, out of the songs that I've done, I'm just not that into it. It's okay, it's good, lots of good things about it, but overall, it doesn't like make me want to listen to them more. So we're going to be doing some Devin Townsend, doing some Opeth more, doing some Symphony X, doing some Neo like we are today. And then I got a new one coming up uh, called Spinning, which actually I'm probably going to do this week. I won't even wait for a week. So keep around, stick around for that. So let's get to it and let's hope that this song is as good as the first song. The first song was fucking kick ass. Starting out with the uh, flamenco tango sound again. <laughs> Waiting for it to kick into uh, Cirque du Soleil. I'm ready for it to like kick my ass. <laughs>
like that bass behind it. Very melodic. Oh, I like that change in tempo. They built it up. Nice closed hi-hat to bring about some dynamics by the drummer. really hear the bass. I like that. I like that you can hear the bass very clearly up in the mix. Okay, wait for me to go double time. <laughs> Face shining. Mm. Nice tempo pickup. It's twice they've done that, that's good. I feel like the recording is nice and deep. Far, this is definitely like much more simplistic, laid back than the first song that I listened to. Which is good. Oh, there we go. <laughs> the double time. <laughs> build up, build up. Hmm. Hmm. The only thing we're missing now is the. Uh, Growls. Nice guitar. Ooh, I like that. Chunkiness.
Trey would say, calisthenics on the drum, double bass drum. That's been, what, three minutes of just straight, fast-ass double bass. This guy's stamina is not matched. Forget not. I would have to say that my first kind of impression of the song was that it was just kind of so so. <laughs> it definitely wasn't to me as good as the first song, Flowers. Um, I felt like, and, and I've said this before in other videos, and maybe I think I know why someone chose, the, why you guys chose this video or this song for me to listen to is I made it a kind of a comment about the growling versus the uh, normal singing, the clean singing voice. And I'll say that is a very, very big plus of this song. Two things. Number one, his voice sounds good, clean, and I wish I would hear more of it. Uh, I've only listened to two songs, but when he was singing clean, I liked it. I thought, wow, this is nice voice, sounds good. And secondly, I have to give them credit for exposing me to what it sounds like with clean vocals and growling going on at the same time. And it actually wasn't bad. It was kind of, it was not, I wouldn't say it was pleasant, <laughs> but it wasn't bad. So I give them credit for that. And I think that that was like a, a great kind of 
suggestion from the group if that's what you were thinking, because I think that's why I remember someone making a comment about if you want to hear clean vocals, this song would be good for it. And I did like that. That was definitely a part of that. And I loved the bass at the beginning. The bass at the beginning. I like his melodic um, kind of runs that he does that's behind what's going on with the flamenco tango guitar, the uh, violin. I think it's perfect, perfectly set. And uh, the, the reason I think that I'm thinking the song is just kind of so-so, as I've said this before in other videos, but one of the reasons, or one of the things I don't like in music, and this is just a particular kind of preference, is I don't like over repetition. And I would say like, there are two extremes of repetition. There's like too much repetition, and then there's not any repetition. And I don't think either of those are good. What I like is you have your foundation kind of lick, or your maybe your chorus, that you kind of come back to or whatever in a song but it kind of explores from there and goes out. And I feel like this song is, I, I even feel like Flowers was kind of like repetitious to a degree, but maybe because it was new, I'd never heard that kind of music put together. It was really, really, you know, something I had not experienced before. But I would even say this song, like the beginning, almost sounded like Flowers again. Like I felt like I was listening to the exact same kind of like, situation like obviously it was different chords and different kind of sound but it was very similar it was very very similar and then the rest of the song it wasn't even till like nine minutes into the song was there like a big change and I, I think I made a comment like oh this is sounding a little bit more progressive so I felt like it was just a little bit too repetitive for my taste and uh, I, I tend to like more things that are more melodic and, and like go in different places and then maybe come back to the, to the bass, whatever that bass is. So that's maybe why I think the song was a little bit so-so. And I made, I made a comment that there was a point that sounded like a heavy point that sounded like another band, like a Christian band that I knew. I couldn't remember their name, but I remembered it. It was Tourniquet. And the song is called uh, Psycho surgery, psychosurgery, and you can hear it playing right now underneath me talking. And it, it was just kind of funny because I was like, ooh, that sounds very like like tourniquet style, just that little part, that little piece. Uh, but I, I definitely love the clean vocals, um, but I would say overall, like I would just kind of give this song like a, like a 6 out of 10, whereas I'd give Flowers maybe like an 8 out of 10, 8.5 out of 10. So that's just kind of my feeling at the beginning of listening to this song for the first time. And I'm nice, the Captain Morgan is nice, even though I didn't want to, for those of you who wanted me to listen to Curator, I'm going to do that now. So let's move on to that, and I love live stuff more than anything, so I downloaded a live version of it, so I'm going to watch the live version of Curator, so hope you enjoy. Oh, this looks like a very official video. I hope this doesn't get blocked. <laughs> Yeah, this definitely looks like an official video. I thought this was just going to be like a live performance, not a official music video. Well, it says official music video on the top. <laughs> Shit. All right, here we go. Hope it doesn't get blocked. bass players pretty badass I would almost say in the three songs well this being the third song that I've listened to the bass player outshines the guitar player maybe that'll change out your ass. <laughs> G. 
Jesus. <laughs> now, I love how, see this is 16th, this is like the subdivision of 16th because the, the double bass is going fast as fuck, but they're just doing do, do, do. that stuff I love. See, because when you bang your head, you're banging your head like this, not like, like the first part. <laughs> Great change. Oh, shit. This, I like. Don't care for the growling that much, but... Oh, yes. Like that switch. Yes. Like that guitar interplay. all the time you don't you just don't need the growling you even got harmonies going on I just was expecting it to be a lot longer to even look at the time of the video, but five minutes. Sweet. Forget not people, don't get angry. It's just my opinion. But curator, you guys hit it on the head. That was pretty short. I wasn't expecting that, but it would like had a lot of the elements that I was just talking about before in the previous um, reaction as far as uh, forget not as concerned so that was just like wow yeah kick ass um, I told you I like the changes and subdivisions I, it, it keeps the brain awake it keeps I, I think it's very creative writing when people just understand the differences between subdivisions and they probably maybe they were but I doubt they were sitting there thinking okay let's do this subdivision so that this to no but it's just a natural keeping the brain awake uh, keeping the, the mind like what's going to happen next instead of just like over and over and over again where the brain just starts to be like okay ding and it goes to sleep so um, I can see why forget not people wanted me to listen to it um, and it's not like a fault of your own or anything like that that you chose that song but for me and my style this song definitely was more kick-ass. This was more of like the kind of stuff that I like. And I love that he was singing clean vocals. It sounded good. And they were doing harmonies and shit. Like, I wish they would do more of that instead of like less of the growling. The less of the growling, the more of the clean vocals would be even per more perfect. But 
that had some a lot of like cool like licks in it together that were very well matched together as they switched and definitely some technical virtuoso stuff going on in there yeah that song was i'm trying to think if i had to put the three songs in order what would i say um i would definitely say uh forget not is third uh, but between flowers and this song curator I would say it's pretty neck and neck. Um, Curator was like my first experience with these guys, so it was kind of very fresh and new, so it's hard to like forget about that aspect of it, but this song was short and sweet and had everything that was pretty good uh, as far as like musical creativeness too. So that's tough, but I, I would have to say that maybe this is probably my favorite. Out of, the, out of the three, and then second would a very close second, maybe like a point one, would be flowers. So that's where I am right now. Um, I, I, but I'm liking it. Um, it's definitely more on the heavy side than on the melodic side. It's more of your heavy metal stuff. I tend to like more melodic with heavy interludes in between. <laughs> so uh, anyway, looking forward to listening to more of these guys. Give me more suggestions based off what I said, of course, and. Uh, Remember that in the next video, which is going to be an Ohio State reaction video to the Indiana game this past Saturday, I'm going to do a poll for the next Symphony X. So click on it just to, if you don't like football, just click on it to uh, vote in the poll for the next Symphony X song. And as always, like and subscribe and look for more content coming as much as I possibly can. All right, peace out.